So this morning I thought I'd talk brushes and combs and grooming on a long hair bunny. So this scenario that I like to use is for bunnies that are pet bunnies. These are not for show bunnies because you would have to brush differently for a show bunny. Because with this scenario where we're removing hair, we, we may be removing knots and so forth. On a show bunny, we need to keep the density, the thickness, the shape, everything needs to stay on that, that bunny. So this is purely just how to groom a pet bunny with long hair. So the first thing that I really like to have and use is a human brush, which is called a paddle brush. It can be slightly smaller than this, but it, you can see like it's flat, so that's why it's like a paddle. So it's a paddle brush, and that would actually help start your grooming. You would use that first to sort of prepare the hair and remove any light tangles that can be easily removed. And that also helps the bunny not to be um, unhappy with the knots. Then I would follow through with my rotating pin comb. And why we call this a rotating pin comb is because these actually rotate and that helps to catch the little knots and mats and pull them all to the ends of the hair and take them out. So that again, is a. these are the things I would not live without. Then we have slicker brushes. So let's talk slicker brushes. So this is a slicker brush. You can see the, the, the bristles and the actual look of the brush. There's many different slicker brushes, but I tend to like this brand the best. And I think it's Lawrence is the brand. Now, slicker brushes come in all different sizes and all different strengths. So this is called small soft, and this is called tiny soft. So it actually, actually, I think this actually has a bunny picture on it for a bunny, saying it's a bunny brush. But the difference is, so you might find a slicker brush that says small, but it might have hard on it. That means these bristles are going to be quite hard. So always look for a slicker brush with the word soft next to it. It doesn't have to be small, it doesn't have to be tiny. You could do medium or you could do large, whatever you wanted to do. But the, the, the other word that's important is the word soft. So they're the slicker brushes I use next. This is something that I also would not live without, especially when I'm grooming other people's bunnies. Not so much mine, occasionally I get a knot. I don't know if you can see it there, I'm trying to get the blade right for you. So what it is, is in that curve of there is actually a little blade. So you use it like a comb. So as you comb down, it will go into the hair and catch a really bad knot for you. And what it does, it actually starts to break that knot down. So it sort of cuts it off a little bit. But the reason why I love this, because when you do that, you're not cutting a whole piece of hair out of that bunny and not leaving a hole. So that will actually start breaking down the um, knot for you. So it's actually called a dematter. So that's my favorite thing as well to use. And then the other thing is I'd say to invest in is a pair of human thinning scissors. Can you see the, the little um, serrated um, pieces in there, little, little lines? So that's a thinning scissor. So again, this will also help if you've got a really, really bad knot that's really tight because you won't really get this in to it and you won't really get the comb underneath the knot and bring it forward. So what you would do with this, you would actually cut this where the knot is. So if this was the big hard clump of knot right, right there, you would actually place it right where the knot is completely balled up and give a crunch, crunch, and it'll actually break up the knot a little bit, but will not remove the hair as a whole piece like a pair of scissors would. And then I would go through with this and it will catch that last bit. And then I run through with my comb and it will pull it all out for you. And then you'll have no more knot or mat there. So that's the things I would not live without on a long hair bunny for a pet home. Um, and it makes your life really, really easy. The other thing is, is a um, nail clipper. These are the nail clippers that I recommend because they're tiny, they work really well, um, they're easy to use. And I'll show you a little bit about them and the trick what how you should be using them. So you're gonna stay here a little bit, Nala, till we finish. So when you use um, nail clippers, this little thing on the end here is, is a, there for a reason. It's actually your finger rest and it's for your little pinky. So your little pinky goes there, your ring finger goes next, and your two other fingers sit on top of the, the scissors or your, these clippers and your thumb goes in the bottom. So, and then that's how you would use it. Now, if you turn it this way, that is incorrect. You, you've got them upside down 
and they're not they're not going to work as good and they're not in the right way for you same as these scissors these scissors will actually come with a finger rest but i've actually lost it so again the finger rest for those scissors would be on my little pinky exactly like that so that's how you should use it so that's how you should use any scissors or clippers with a pink a little rest that's what that rest is for is so you can move your thumb and rest the rest of your fingers it's not meant to be used like that it's meant to be used when you figure out like that so hopefully that helps and this is how i would groom my bunny so as we said we would do brush first and once that's all done i'd lift all the hair up and i do brush them underneath and work my way to the top with the paddle brush i brush lift all up i brush underneath and work my way all the way up with a rotating pin comb and at this stage she is molting so she's losing lots of hair now if you get a strand, if you can see it on the video but there's a little strain with a little ball on it that's like a little tangle and it would just come straight out if it's hanging off so if it's hanging off it can come straight out so we'll turn around the other way good girl Nala and again I lift up I can feel a little tangle there and you will see what happens so that's pulling I'm just going to hold her, cut her skin a little bit and you'll see it come all the way to the end and now it's all all out I don't know if you can see it let me just show everybody can you see that there it's like a little ball in the clump and a very fine thread that's what the rotating pin comb is put it to a thread so it'll just come away that's why I love a rotating pin comb and we just go through section by section and she's got another little one there coming out and she'll have more coming out this time of year because it's her season for molting so she had her nice thick winter coat on and as you can see I go right through from bottom to the top and you can see what a long hair bunny will get out with a rotating pin comb and then when you finish off you get your brush pull all the hair up and again you can see when I'm brushing, we brush downward motion. Um, it, it, um, it has to be that angle when you're brushing. So I brush downwards and away from me and just run through that like that. And this will keep all your tangles out. Okay, and if we've got a knot that's really, really tight, tight, tight and too close to the skin, and you can't get your comb, the mat dematterine to break it up for you, you would use your thinning scissors. So wherever the mat is horrible, so I'm gonna use that brown piece as saying that's the mat, and it's really tight, you would actually put the thinning scissor right in the middle of the hard ball of knot and crunch it a couple of times with the scissors, and that will actually separate the knot a little bit. You'll be able to then go in with your um, dematter and it'll catch it a bit more and start breaking it down for you and bring that whole knot out without any pain to your bunny. So that's how I would groom a long hair bunny for a pet home. Hopefully that's been helpful today and giving you some ideas of how to groom your bunny. Um, I will put in the comments all the links to these products if anyone's interested in purchasing them. I don't get anything for this, so don't think purchasing them from me or anything. It's just purchasing from a website that actually supplies them. Um, it's a grooming place that would have all these equipment if you are interested in wanting to have them for your buddy. Um, so happy.